to tackle Lewis in the middle of the ring. 17 punches around won't win for Evander Holyfield. And he cringes against the ropes as Lewis lands a right hand. Yeah, he takes a couple of pounds. That's a good left hook by Evander Holyfield. Where the Holyfield fans are wondering why their man doesn't get off. Raucous noise in the upper deck. He comes out in a very aggressive posture. Well, if he opens up to try to fulfill the round three prophecy, does Lewis get a chance with the right hand? The puncher's gloves. It's like a pillow. Holyfield right right right. landed a left hook inside and lands a right hand, and Lewis is stunned. Evander attacking, trying to fulfill the prophecy. All he can do, I think he's trying to, to set him up for something, George. I don't know what it is. Right hand, right there. Right cross landed flush for Holyfield. Lewis seemingly stunned again. And so much for the round three knockout. Your right hand only if you see it. Good. What you want the top of the shorter man to do is reach for everything. Lewis lands the jab and fires the right cross. With frequency. He just doesn't believe in his jab, though. Left hook lands for Holyfield. Backs Lewis into the corner again. Holyfield. And you heard Emmanuel Stewart say, come up with the uppercut. Lewis lands a right hand. Holyfield stunned. Holyfield on the defensive. Right hand lands again. Thunder in round five for Lewis. To the body. Play possum, George. He's hurt. Yeah, he's had some body punching and they hurt and the uppercut landed flush long time left in the round blood along the bridge of the nose of lewis as he busts holyfield with a four punch combination and later in the round holding him punishing him it's open already so far he's following it almost to the t but holyfield lands a big left hook as lewis carelessly drops his right hand Getting a little arrogant. That'll do. Yeah, you got it. Uppercut yeah, lands for Lewis. But he gets pushed backwards when they come together. You don't follow a punch around. You just don't do that. Where Emmanuel Stewart. They both go down in the corner. Arthur Mercanti is going to rule it a slip. You really see the clean punches and the effect of aggressiveness. You can't miss shots like that. Not throwing many punches. Uppercut, uppercut. Lewis misses. Goes to the body. If you want to finish... Don't follow him, Holyfield. Don't follow him. If you want to finish, Lennox, go to the body. Time. Big round for Lennox Lewis. Lewis, 33 of 59, including 22 of 32 power shots. Don Turner is getting more desperate. Now and then, just get a little closer and stay closer. You see? Right hand stops Evander in his tracks again. Lewis, every now and then, whenever he drops his hand or bends his waist, he gets in trouble. Looking like a better one. When you think about what's going in. Well, when he uses the uppercut, George, he triples his effectiveness as an in-fighter. Right. Make him throw his left hook. Lewis landed a short right hand with a thud. Thought for a minute he might have Holyfield. That's even better because if Holyfield charges him a little bit, he can even put a little power to it. 
This fight may be the biggest anti-climax dramatically since the impeachment. But if a Brit wins, it will be the biggest news. Lewis landing 218 more blows, more than doubling Holyfield's landed punch number. The decision is even a draw. Both champions retain their belts. That's a travesty. That is, ladies and gentlemen, a travesty, an outrage, a highway robbery. Lennox Lewis has just been robbed of the undisputed heavyweight championship of the world. He won it, and he didn't get it. You know, that is a shame. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Any questions? Touch gloves. Good luck. Let's go. Touch gloves. a rare left hook. Evander trying to project more sheer energy than was the case in New York. And whacking away at Lewis on the inside. You know, he was able to get in one good left jab, and that gives him confidence. Don Turner is yelling at Evander from his corner. He doesn't want to fight. Yelling at Evander. Round number two. But Holyfield comes back, and you see Holyfield listening to Don Turner's instruction. Right down the middle with that right hand. Uppercut three times in this round. When Evander throws the overhand right, he has to make contact with the left hand first. Inside, lets Lewis come up with a nice uppercut. Later on, good body shots by Holyfield. And now, just as was the case in New York, Lennox Lewis able to stick the jab in Holyfield's face repeatedly. 1991. That's why I named all my boys George, so I wouldn't have to remember him. Hard right hand by Holyfield. Cleanest punch of the bout so far. Go. Lewis is bending down. And Holyfield landed the left hook. Bending down. down. Apparently liked some of what he saw in round number three. Another big right hand. Lewis holding his left hand below his waist, inviting Holyfield to jab. Holyfield leaving the opportunity alone for the moment. Right hand over the top by Lewis. Evander lands a right. Paying off great dividends. Ooh, that right hand on the side of the head hurt. Kind of slid past Evander's ear, though. Field. And Holyfield grinning as Lewis oh. lands a big right hand. Both fighters have landed a big power shot in this round. And Halpern telling Holyfield to watch his head as Lewis goes under and then over with the right hand. The blood does start to trickle outside his right eye as he goes back to the uppercut and busts Holyfield again. The good thing about this, I didn't mention, Lewis has his cup a little lower. Blood is slower. Holyfield has got his jab going better this time. Holyfield averaging exactly 30 punches per round through the first five. That's the same level. You cannot be allowed to be hit in the chest as a heavyweight. And so many young fighters don't even understand that, so they allow guys to do it. And now Holyfield goes upstairs and have no idea how to get back and get this thing in control. Right hand. He is for the taking. He had no idea he would have to fight for this title. thing into a fight. He didn't need to be in the fight. And that was what Lennox Lewis was talking about, I guess, when he said right now, uppercut. And anything that he can get in after the storm, he takes it. Lewis should be jabbing and jabbing and making this a fight. They both land uppercuts there. Holyfield with the right hand and Lewis with his own right hand. Well, Big left hand. took by Holyfield. They're Lewis head to head, head now. Head to head. This is hurt. And that's that what body he shot hurt. That body shot hurt. And it hurt Lewis. Hard left hook by Holyfield. Lewis stunned again. And here comes Lewis now. Lewis rallying again. Combination. Hard right hand by Holyfield. Lewis to the body. His own right hand lands flush. They trade shots at close range. Round seven, the best round. These two fighters have fought against each other in two fights. Holyfield again. Left hook upstairs now. 
Another left hook, and Lewis backs up and ducks. Fires a right hand back and goes to the body. Totally leaning forward now. He is into trouble. If only Holyfield could just must up a little energy. And Lewis has that he's going to fight. <laughs> Lewis getting smarter and going to the body. So it's a much more even fight. But despite everything we're saying, Lewis has landed some shots in this round and may in fact be winning the round, which he did right there. Oh, jump in. Their heads come together again, and Lewis produces some good infighting as he drives Evander back to the ropes. Evander trying to flurry at the end of the round. Lewis blunted him there. Lennox Lewis has never knocked an opponent out past the eighth round. Holyfield has, and he goes for one here. Holyfield. Well, Evander Holyfield won't back down from anybody. Uppercut lands for Lewis. Holyfield misses the left hook. Lewis take advantage of it. Multiple punches for Lewis. Holyfield not throwing back. Fires the right and drives Lewis into the ropes. Lennox goes back to the body and the uppercut. Thrashing Holyfield with power shots. Holyfield's going to try to flurry again to convince the judges he's won the round. Holyfield is an excellent boxer. Knows what to do and when to do it. Especially in close rounds. Evander looks like he's fresh. He should try to create as much of this as he can. But he just landed another big right uppercut. And that's why he shouldn't do it. Great right hand lands for Lewis. Evander not throwing right now. Lewis with two body shots. Round 10. Ooh, good body shots by Lewis. Like a pitcher, and he just stands there and he does whatever he wants. Ooh, hard left hook. And the kind of effort the two fighters are putting forth. But still, Lewis throws more and lands more in almost every round. Has never begun bleeding again. Four punches land for Lewis. A close fight. I'm not saying I disagree with Harold's card. Evander's got to pull it out. He just can't sit there and box this round. He's got to fight. Uppercut lands for Lewis. Right hand lands for Lewis. In five more seconds of fighting. They fought a lot better fight this time. And the fans appreciate it. Tonight, boxing crowns an undisputed heavyweight champion as after 12 rounds of action, we go to the scorecards with a unanimous decision. Here are the score totals. Judge at ringside, Jerry Roth scores at 115 to 113. Judge Chuck Joppa scores at 116 to 112. Judge at ringside, Bill Graham sees it 117 to 111. All three in favor of the winner and the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, Lennox.